Hello, what's up, guys? This is Aptrix here. Welcome back to another video. And today we'll be taking a look at the brand new canary builds of Citra Emulator Android, the official Citra version. So let me just go ahead and show you guys that I have already updated my official Citra Android to the Canary 2371 build. And starting off, let me talk about this update. As you may know, that Citra official used to be a huge competitor towards Citra MMJ Android. But unfortunately, the last update of Citra MMJ was about 4 months ago. Same goes with the Citra NS edition. The last update which it received was in November 2022. So it's been a long time since we have seen major changes in terms of 3D simulation on Android. But official Citra emulators, uh, Canary as well as nightly builds, we can constantly get brand new updates for Android as well from the official Citra emulators uh, own website. And if you guys don't know the difference between Canary as well as nightly builds, Canary builds are basically experimental builds with new features which may not be stable and nightly builds are stable versions. Nightly is better than Canary but Canary does have some new features which I would like to talk about in today's video. So let's just go ahead and open settings and let's take a look at uh, the general settings which we like to use while emulating 3ds games in official citra android system clock type device clock okay uh, afterwards we'll just go ahead and go back go to graphics internal resolution we can set it only way up to 4x whereas in lemuroid emulator you can go all the way up to 10x but lemuroid hasn't received any major updates in terms of 3ds emulation either so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification because whenever there are some major updates i'll make sure to let you guys know enable linear filtering will affect your performance if you have a low end or mid range device i recommend keeping it off but if you want a better visual experience i recommend turn it on uh, afterwards accurate shader multiplication as you know the oldest setting present it will just fix graphical issues but will make the game way uh, slower this shader cache you can enable this i definitely recommend you guys use this because reducing stuttering by storing and loading generated shaders to disk okay so that's what it does you can also dump textures which i would not recommend it's just time consuming and let me just go ahead and disable linear filtering as well because i like crispier games not smoother let's go back let's go to audio audio stretching uh i wouldn't recommend using it afterwards i guess that's about it as you know once you start the game there will be more settings to explore so let's just go ahead and click on pokemon x and here we go our game has successfully started now at the top left corner you'll see that i'm getting around 269 fps and 450 percent speed i'll just go ahead and select english as the language and now the fps should fall drastically so yeah it's pretty drastic i'm down to 23 fps and now as the game starts i should definitely go up in frames per second now let me talk about the new features so one thing which i have seen is this close game option i don't think it was there before i have been uh using citra emulators for the past four to five years and i have never seen the close game option so i think that's new or maybe i'm just blind i don't really know but as you know in official citra android scannery build it also supports uh, the cheats function there were only two to three leverage of citra mmj over official citra android which made it better the first leverage was the ability to add cheat codes the second leverage was multiplayer support which didn't really work well and the third leverage was MediaTek compatibility and I do believe that uh, in nightly builds there is good support for MediaTek devices but again if you have very old low end device MediaTek device then go with Citra MMJ and that's going to be it for the settings which I talked about. You can also swap screens if you use the uh, big layout like landscape screen layout if you select side by side screen this is the interface which you'll get because i get many comments from you guys saying that how do you get such a big screen while playing 3ds game i basically go to landscape screen layout i select single screen uh and i go back i click on swap screens and there we go guys we get a full immersive experience of any game which we want to play which is really cool and citra official version is regularly updated along with uh, the PC as well as Linux version of Citra emulator. Now let me just go ahead and uh, type anything. We'll click on start because we cannot see the second screen. So we'll just go ahead and click on yes. And there we go. Emulating 3ds games has become so much more easier now. Uh, it is very stable and within next few years, I am sure that Nintendo Switch emulation will also be on the same level. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Turn on all notifications. See you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.